What if Master Roshi was the winner of Tournament of Power? Now, I've always wanted to introduce this idea or kind of just throw this into a uh, pool of ideas to for others to kind of think on because I was always interested in how powerful Roshi could get. Now, Tournament of of power was a test of all the universes to come together to fight to the vanquishing i guess um of their planets or universes not just planet universes whole universe is being snapped away by zeno um with that being said i wanted to introduce this because i liked the ending of super already i liked that they made 17 the winner i really i, I like that i like that they didn't make it goku or or Vegeta. like they made 17 the winner of the tournament i really really enjoyed that but I want to take it, a, uh, take it a step further. What if Roshi won the tournament? Like, think about it. Think about it. Goku is really from Earth, and this all kind of started with uh, him being on Earth and all that good stuff, and just came from really how him and the Z Fighters are just always fighting, always drawing in enemies, right? And he just he decides to throw this tournament, and now all of a sudden they're like, okay, cool. You want to throw this tournament? Cool. Now fight to keep your planet, right? I think Roshi fighting and winning for Earth, planet Earth, not only planet Earth, but the universe would really, really raise the ceiling for Earthlings, in my opinion. So how this would work is Master Roshi is obviously going to be hindered in battle because he's not, he doesn't have flight or anything in Spark and Zero. So it's probably going to be something like, again, like Mr. Like they showed us with Mr. Satan, where he's more on the ground, uh, grounded game uh, gameplay. And we're going to be using the Tournament of Power stage of as well. And also creating the tournament as we go through. Now, Roshi is not going to be using any normal tactics of any normal fighting. He can't. He's too old, right? So, we got to make it kind of play out similarly like how it was in the show. So, in the beginning, he kind of holds off his power a little bit. But then, Roshi taps into this, 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 this unleashed power, right? And what I want to emphasize here is that I'm not, again, I'm not sure how you can toggle the health or anything like that, but I want to boost Roshi's health up to give him some extra, like, transformation type thing for an Earthling that we can kind of give it a name when Sparky Zero comes out. I don't have a name just now, but it's going to be like a different name for the uh, for Earthling transformations. And in the scenes and stuff, I'm going to have like, oh, what? It's like, what is this new transformation, Roshi? Like, it's going to be like a... A transformation like in my own universe of Sparky Zero, if that makes sense. So then, as that happens, we're just gonna have Roshi fight against uh, Bergamo. We're gonna have him fight against uh, Mag Magetta. We're gonna have him fight against Dispo. And somehow, in this one, Goku and Vegeta take out Jiren. We gotta just take about the game. I, I can't. There's no way to really pull him out realistically because Jiren is literally the strongest. <laughs> so somehow Jiren is taken out. Um, didn't get to use his full power, but Roshi's there now, and now we have to take on Ribrian. Yes, Ribrian is gonna be our final <laughs> opponent. I kind of wanted again. I wanted to make some of these fun and not too serious. So instead of again him fighting somebody like super powerful and him getting past Dispo, people like Dispo with very high speeds, um, he's gonna be fighting Ribrian. I'm gonna see how that works in the uh, Spark and Zero game as well. So this this story basically is just how he could really win. And now how I think that would really play out is that Roshi would again tap into that uh, unique power of his and use an ultimate ultimate like. This is probably the first Kamehameha, I said Kamehameha, <laughs> this is probably the first Kamehameha that we've seen that is probably from his, his, you know, his hands that is probably stronger than Goku's at base form. And so this ends up being his last hurrah and it shoots out Ruby and she ends up falling out and where she ends up winning. We're going to see if we can get that done in Spark and Zero and everything, but that's how I kind of want it to play out. I really want to see how Master Roshi could really do this. It's Spark is Zero, everybody. Now, if you have been watching the screen, I have had a trailer up this whole time, but if you are watching this, this is dropping a little bit before the trailer drops. There's been a leak. There has been a leak. So a few hours from now, we could get confirmation that GT is going to be in the game. I have it right here. Sparking Zero, Dragon Ball Sparking, Son Goku, latest title, PS5, Steam, GT, Super Saiyan, Oop, all that good stuff. So they the tags are usually 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 pretty 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 accurate so we can trust the tags a little bit again not 
confirm, confirm. We can trust the tag. So if you see this and it's no GT, I, I, I don't know. I don't have to tell you. But hopefully it's GT and hopefully it's base game. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, this what if story. I love doing these. I appreciate all the support on these. You guys are doing an awesome job. Keep liking, keep subbing. I'm going to get these all out before Sparking Zero and then after Sparking Zero, we're going to kick it up a notch. We're actually creating these stories and going back into our little uh, videos here. So leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and we'll get on some more Sparking Zero content. Peace.